Today we have a comparison of a new hollow body player distance irons. We've got the Callaway Rogue ST Pro and the Mizuno Pro 225. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by fellow Master Club Fitter, Jackie Johnson. Jackie, we're going to be testing today hollow bodied irons, specifically the newest models out there. We've got the Mizuno Pro 25 and we have the Rogue ST Pro from Callaway. You are playing some players distance irons right now, correct? Yep, yep. I play the uh, T200s right now. T200s, yep. right. And I know you've also tested the P790s out a few times as well. And we've noticed that for you, you've been able to pick up a little bit of distance with these players distance irons. Yeah, um, I have the new P770s coming to me actually. So again, uh, very similar in terms of a player's distance iron as well with a hollow body. So this will be a fun test today to test out the new ones and kind of see what the numbers give us. Yeah, so numbers, talk about specs with these two different irons. We have the Mizuno Pro 225. The loft on it is 30 degrees. The Callaway Rogue ST Pro is 30 and a half degrees. So they're gonna be very close. So it's going to be interesting to see if, you know, loft is going to do its job with regards to separation and distance, or if there's going to be some other little subtle differences that's going to create closeness or even separation between these two different irons. Jackie, you ready to hit some shots? Let's go. So Jackie, for today's testing, we're going to change up the format a little bit. We're actually going to get you to hit alternate shots. So I'll get you to hit the Rogue ST Pro one time, Mizuno Pro 25 the next time, Rogue ST Pro the next time, Mizuno Pro 225 the next time. So that time way we're going to be able to tell the differences between the feel and the performance on numbers. But also, it's gonna be important for me to be able to keep up with those tags to make sure I flip them, flip them around. So we'll hit five shots initially with each club. Kay. And then we'll come back and hit another five. So we'll hit 10 shots total with each club. All right. What club do you have first? The Mizuno 225. Pro 225, all right. Good one. Good one. Good swing of the day. First one, ball speed over 100 miles an hour. Ah. Uh, little, little thin. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move back to the Mizuno Pro 225. Uh, yeah. Not too bad. Okay. Rogue ST Pro. Oh, that was chunky. A little chunky. You got away with it, but yeah, it was a little chunky. It's all right, we'll be able to take out a couple of the miss hits later Kay. on. Right. All right. Okay. There you go. A little better. Pushing 100 miles an hour with the bull speed. There. There you go. Hundred mile an hour bull speed. I didn't even hit that solid. Right. Yeah. I would I would agree. Okay, we got one more. Okay. Yeah, I left it open a little bit. Left it open a little bit. Okay, Jackie, we're, we're halfway through the testing. So this yep. is a time where I want to ask you on the look and the feel between the two clubs. So if you're maybe going to put them two down next to each other, let me know if you notice any differences between those two clubs at address. Um, at address, like the Callaway Rogue Pro is like shinier. That's the first thing I noticed. The Mizuno is a little bit more like a flat, like a flatter like a matte finish to yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, the top lines are very similar. They kind of have that, uh, I don't know, more of a, yeah, again, not as glossy on the top. So just to kind of appease the eye a little bit better. Yep. Um, 
But other than that, I mean, the heads are very similar in that regard, similar shape, similar size. You know, they both look sleek. They have, you know, sleek backs. Um, I don't know. I like the look of both of them, honestly. So I didn't really notice anything in terms of the look there. It looks like the Callaways maybe got a little bit more offset, just a touch, just from, like, you know, eye line view. Okay. Um, which... That might help with the direction yeah. a little bit here too. Yeah. yeah. So, with we all, we all know that Mizuno is just a touch flatter than other yeah. manufacturers. Now, if we're comparing Callaway versus Mizuno, it's only half a degree. So yeah. I don't know if half a degree is going to change that dispersion that much there overall. Um, but just keep that in mind if you are getting fit into Mizuno irons. Yeah. They will sit just a little bit flatter than other manufacturers. Uh, okay, what about sound? I noticed a difference standing back here in the sound between the two of them. Could you tell a difference when you were hitting it? Uh, not really. I would say like the Pro is the or sorry the the Callaway Rogue Pro is maybe a little bit more muted than the Mizuno. Like that's what I noticed. Mizuno is like maybe a little bit louder, but I don't know. Again, I'm kind of I don't for me, like sound and stuff like that, like I notice it, but it doesn't really bother me. So I'm, yeah. I'm really more focused on how it's hitting off the face. Um, I didn't really notice too much of a difference, but if I had to say, Mizuno's probably a little bit louder. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at the numbers under your interest in kind of seeing how it's hitting off the face. And there's some subtle differences here between the two of them. Uh, you were swinging the Rogue ST Pro, just a little bit slower than Mizuno Pro 20, 225. Now this is um, close with regards to the golf shafts, but it's, it's not perfect. Unfortunately, unfortunately, fitting matrixes are hard when it comes to graphite shafts to try and have the exact same shaft in every single iron. Yep. Um, but th this is close. Um, they're both regular golf shafts. Uh, you'll notice efficiency 133, 134. So very, very close there between the, between the two of them. The one thing I noticed here was spin. Now this is probably the biggest takeaway right now between the two of them. Rogue ST Pro is spinning about 800 RPMs less than the Mizuno Pro 20, 225. Mm -hmm. uh, they go, both go in total distance the, about the exact same number, 145. And I know you said 140, 145 is kind of what you see yep. out of your, your, your irons there normally there too. So a little bit of a difference there. And then directions go to influence that spin a little bit. So the fact that you were turning it over a little bit more with the Rogue ST Pro, that might have brought that spin rate down just a little bit overall. Right. But we're halfway there. I want you to hit five more shots with each club now, and then we'll dive deeper into the numbers. Okay. That's mm, better. Yep. Got the spin up, because I didn't go left. Or chunk it. Wow. Oh. That was forgiving, I mean, and that one is interesting to talk about because we know you didn't hit it very as well, as well. your smash factor dropped, but notice the total distance there, still 145. Yeah. So it's pretty forgiving. That was good. Yep. Definitely seeing a trend emerge here. Yeah, I noticed that like with Callaway Road, like that was a good swing and the spin's pretty low. Yep. That was solid. That there. was better. Yeah. There we go. I'm getting warmed up. Yeah, last couple of swings were pretty good there, Jackie. There we go. This is why I like to go rapid fire, you know? On the golf this, course, you can't go rapid fire, though, Jackie, <laughs> unfortunately. You've got to walk between each shot, go through your pre-shot routine. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to just be a, a YouTuber that just hits shots into a simulator for <laughs> a career. I mean, could be. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, your last four swings, your ball speed's been right around about 101 miles an hour. So two with the Rogue ST Pro and two with the Mizuno Pro 225. Eh. Oh, yeah. it was. Yep. 100. Pretty good. Yep. 
Okay, still thinking this, the same with regards to feel and look? Um, I would say actually like the Callaway, I think the first, you know, half of hitting the Rogue Pro, I didn't hit it very good, like yep. solid. <clears throat> and now that I hit like five good shots with it, I would say it's actually louder. Yeah, I was. Uh, I could notice that standing back here. I yeah. could. I could notice that it sounded louder. I thought it was interesting at first. You thought it, it was a little bit quieter. Yeah, I, th I think like out of the gate, I just didn't hit it as well. So maybe that was part of it. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit louder. The feel is definitely different. Like the Rogue Pro is got more of a like pop. Like, I don't, and maybe that's part of the sound. But like feel wise, like when I'm hitting it, it's like it's compressing more. Whereas the Mizuno is like, I don't know, it just feels like more forged. Like that's yep. how I could describe it. So it's um, softer where this feels more like a game improvement iron. Like, I don't know how else to really describe that other than that's kind of what <laughs> that feels like. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't really surprise me because Mizuno, honestly, anytime I test any Mizuno stuff, it's usually very the same of how they feel. Um, and so that doesn't surprise me there, but interesting that when I hit the Rogue Pro a little bit better, like that's the feel that I'm getting from that, which isn't a, necessarily a bad thing, but just definitely different. Yeah, so with, with the Callaway, they've combined their high strength 450 steel mm -hmm. with their, their cup face design, essentially. So it's probably gonna feel a little different compared to a Mizuno, we all know what a Mizuno, what it feels like on yeah. a, a forged iron. They feel a lot softer and more buttery off the face. So I think that's the difference that you're, that you're feeling there is I think it's maybe a little more explosive with the Rogue ST Pro versus Mizuno Pro 225. Yeah. Maybe more just forged, but with the hollow body with it. Yeah, I would say it feels really similar actually to the, my 770s that I'm getting. So like if I had to like say how that would feel when you're hitting the center of the face with the Rogue Pro, like that's really, you know, 770, honestly, maybe even more like the 790 explosiveness that I would say is, is very similar. Yeah, yeah. So let's take a look at the numbers here. I think the trends have kind of remained all, all the way through here. We'll notice dispersion pattern. It's quite interesting that your, your furthest left with the Mizuno was like just kind of just left of center here, just left of center where everything else was just a little bit to, to the right. It's kind of interesting with the Rogue ST Pro, you'll notice we've got eight shots here that were left of, of center, mm -hmm. while we have two shots right of center. So it's kind of split. So Mizuno Pro 225, eight shots right, two shots left. Rogue ST Pro, eight shots left, two shots right. So that's quite interesting. You know, I know you talked about the offset design with the Rogue ST Pro seeing a little bit more offset. Mm -hmm. That could definitely attrib attribute to that there too. Uh, your club speed, you're talking separated by about a mile an hour difference there. Um, ball speed separated by, what, 1.4 miles an hour. Now we do know that the Mizuno Pro 225 has 30 degrees of loft on it. The Rogue ST Pro has 30 and a half. So that's probably why you see just a little bit less ball speed there. But even still, your smash factor is 135 with both of them there too. So it's attributed to club speed and a little bit of that loft difference overall. Um, launch angle, we'll see here, it's launching 0.8 degrees higher and it's got half a degree uh, more loft on it, so that, that makes sense there. But I think the biggest thing that we, that we take away from, and it's got a little bit closer together, I think you had there was the one miss hit here that yeah. was a little bit more of an outlier, I think I'll bring that one up here. It spun at 4,000 yeah. RPMs with the Mizuno. We take that one out and maybe we see if there's an outlier here with probably this one here probably is the, is the outlier with the Rogue. Maybe you keep up kind of your, your best nine with them. Mm -hmm. We'll notice there, now we're seeing your separation there is about 500 RPM difference. Now, this is important to note because the Rogue ST Pro does have actually more loft on it than the Mizuno Pro 225. So what we're seeing here with the Rogue ST Pro is less spin for sure about 500 RPMs less spin, even though the loft is slightly weaker than the Mizuno Pro 225. Uh, distance, you know, we're, we're talking total distance, 148.6, 148.5. So pretty much the, the same, we'll yeah. notice Rogue ST Pro with a little bit less spin on it, a little bit less carry distance. So it's just chasing out, we're talking 
12 yards from carry to total versus 11 yards there as a, as a difference. But otherwise, height, you know, about the same. Pretty, pretty similar overall between the two of them there. Uh, th this is great. Jackie, you're, you're a true robot. <laughs> dynamic loft. Yeah. We know the loft is separated by half a degree between the two of them. Yeah. Well, your dynamic loft with 26.4 with the Rogue ST Pro, 26 degrees with the Rogue Pro 225. Yep. So that's great. That's, that's, that's awesome there to see. Um, but yeah, kind of a big difference there is probably the spin. I think that's probably the biggest takeaway is Rogue ST Pro is going to spin a little bit less. And that's how it's able to uh, keep up with ball speed, even though the loft's a little bit weaker. Yeah. Well, I'd say, too, one of the things that I noticed with, like, the face angle and the face to path is that with the Rogue Pro, that it's more closed. So a lot of that's probably due, again, to the offset just a little bit, you know, helping it keep a little bit straighter. If you're talking about pure numbers, they're very similar. I'd say the biggest takeaway for me is definitely the feel. And honestly, it's not that I prefer one or the other. It's just it, they're different. Um, but, you know, I, I think in a perfect world with that Mizuno, I'd probably bend it, you know, to standard of what most other clubs are at since it is a little bit flatter. Yep. And you'd see that maybe go more towards the center, maybe even more towards where the Rogue ST Pro is going. And those numbers would honestly, I mean, I think the spin rates would be very, very, like identical in that regard. And there's really not a whole lot of difference for me between the two, but both are very good options for sure when you're talking about hollow body player distance irons. Yeah, good options. I think you talk about looks, um, the Rogue ST Pro, it's pretty shiny looking down at. So you know, that's one thing to keep in mind is it's a very, very shiny, maybe in the sun you might see some glare <laughs> a little bit, where the Pro 225 Mizuno irons got a little bit more of a, a matte finish, it's probably not as shiny, but Good options from Mizuno and Callaway between the two of them. Two of our newest, latest uh, offerings here that we do fit at Second Swing. Got the Callaway Rogue ST Pro. Um, we also got the Mizuno Pro 225. So golfers, if you love this video, make sure to uh, subscribe to our channel. Also send us comments. Let us know how your iron testing's been going here in early 2022. Thanks for watching.